Nobody's had these. New schedules of murder, aren't they? How'd you happen to get up this time in the morning? No morning papers. Look at that, even Tony Blackburn ain't up. There's your breakfast. Eat it up. I'm not gonna eat it in my socks, ma'am. Where's my shoes? I put them here last night. Oh, I've got them here. They're in the oven to keep warm. Oh. <laughs> Tell up. Hey, I don't know what they wanted to order them for. That was all right as they were. Oh, oh! oh. <laughs> I say, are you all right? Yeah. No, you all right? Yeah, next time, give it another five minutes at number six and send the recipe to Jimmy Young. <laughs> <laughs> now, look here, Stan. You've gone right through the soul again. No, no, I can't help that. It's the brake pedal that does it. Well, you shouldn't press it down so hard. Oh, don't be daft. I don't press it down so hard. I go right through a brick wall. <laughs> Come on, come on, eat up your breakfast. You're looking very pale, you oh, know. Oh, turn it in, will you? Ah, just the same when you was a lad. Always, always pale-faced and thin. Mum, Mum, can I have a cup of tea, please? <laughs> yes, of course, of course. Thank you. There we are. <clears throat> just because you're on the early shift, you don't have to get the old house older. Me and Olive's up been up since five o'clock. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Oh, you didn't bother to come down. Stan would have got you a nice cup of tea. Aye. He married my sister, not me. <laughs> yeah, well, since I'm up, I'll have me breakfast. Now, well, you have to wait, dear. I've got to get Stan's lunch ready first. Stan's lunch? I thought you always had in the canteen. I did, but with these new schedules, I'm never back in the depot in time. Will you stand for that? Every man is in top of canteen facilities. Your union should have done something about it. They did. They agreed. I suppose you was... <laughs> I suppose you was too frightened to stand up at the meeting and say anything. Oh, no, I wasn't. Well, why don't you speak up for yourself? I wasn't there. It was my bingo night. <laughs> Typical. No wonder the unions are getting infiltrated. You should have spent the evening with your brother members. I did. We had more at the bingo hall than we had at the meeting. <laughs> ah, that's graceful. I pride myself on the fact that I've never missed a union meeting. Twelve years I've been treasurer of the railway union and every member comes to every meeting. With you as treasurer, I'm not surprised. Are you trying to suggest that yeah, I'm... Now then, you two, now then, now then. Here, yeah, they smell nice. I'll have a couple of them sausages for my breakfast. Oh, now. I'm sorry, there's no more left. These are for Stan's lunch. I don't like cold bangers, Mum. Oh, you're not going to have them cold, love. I'm putting them in the thermos. <laughs> How am I supposed to get them out there? Oh, don't worry. Pour don't them on a plate or something. <laughs> well, have you got any bacon? I'm afraid not. He was there for sand, sand sandwiches. <laughs> here, Arthur. Try a bit of fried bread. Fried bread? That's no good for a working man. Working man? You a working man? A booking clerk at Crossley Junction? Three trains a day, two of them cancelled? <laughs> <laughs> The amount of work you get through, mate, you could survive on a cream cracker. <laughs> well, I suppose I can fill up with cornflakes. Hey, where's the milk, Mum? Oh, dear, I am sorry. It's finished. Not Stan's lunch again. Oh, no. Rusty's breakfast. Come on, hey? love. Yes, come on. <laughs> You'll have to wait till the milkman comes. Time for walk. <laughs> Morning, Morning, Mum. How are you? Not very well. I had a terrible night. Oh, dear, I'm sorry. Oh, God, here we go again. Morning, Stan. Oh, come on, say good morning to your sister. Morning, Olive. Coughing better. <laughs> <laughs> she had me awake all night with that chest of hers, weaving and puffing away. I've been in bed with a steam engine. <laughs> watch it, love, watch it. You burst your boiler. Oh, no. Stop fussing. Well, it's murder, Mum. Olive can't help it. All this carry on about her wheezes. It's only when she breathes. <laughs> That's right, love. You, 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 you take this a little, do you good. It's always the same when there was children. You know, my two always have a firm, weak chest. That reminds me. Have you got your, have you got your vest on? Yes, I have. Leave me alone. <laughs> there you are. Now you've got a cough now. Come on, you better have some of this creosote. Creosote wipes out coughs. It wipes out dry rotten all. <laughs> I don't want to take that muck, mate. I'm telling you. No, 
I gets poison enough from the cab fumes without having to take that. And God, look at the time I'll be late, Mum. I'll have to borrow your bike, Olive. Yeah, wait a minute. Here, here's your lunch. All right. Oh, there's your sandwiches. Sorry, Mum. Your bangers. Yeah. That's it. And there's your tea. Right, okay. Oh, don't do that. It leaks. Oh. That's it. Tell our Mum, I've got to go now. Here, wait. Here's your tea. Oh, Ooh, better not drink that. Only on the number 11 route, I've got nowhere to stop. <laughs> there's a stop in the middle of the high street. I didn't mean that. I mean, if I drink too much liquid, it goes right... Oh, never mind. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Come then, have you? Oh, here comes our new Cliffy. Uh, why don't you ride side saddle, eh? Why don't you belt up, mate? Hey, come on, hurry up and sign in. We're due out in a minute. Yeah, all right, then. Oh, sir, we are. Hello, mate. How are you? All right, mate. These new schedules are murder, aren't they? Oh, murder. I don't know what they want in water room for. Yeah, watch out. Here comes the Gestapo. <laughs> You're not frightened of him, are you? I'm surprised at you, Jack. Me, I'd... Uh... Oh. <laughs> Get in the bus. I'm just getting in there, Inspector. Don't go and put all that stuff in the cab like that. It could cause a nasty accident. Put it on the stairs, Jack. Oh, come on, give it here. Oh, come on. Watch it, watch it. You spill me sausages. <laughs> <coughs> I suppose you have studied the new schedule, have you? You know the new stops and timing and stages and turnarounds and change points and all that? Credit yeah. me with a bit of sense, will it, to mug it up? I know the route. Drive away. <laughs> hey, Jack. What? Where are we going? <laughs> Number 11, Cemetery Gates, Fire and High Street. Back 11 33, you're 17 minutes late. Yeah, I reckon it's very good. The way I worked it out, I'd be 25 minutes late. These new schedules are murder. Yeah, I'll stand. Here's your lunch. Thanks, Jack. You know you're due out at 11 59, don't you? Hear that? 11 59, and the flipping canteen don't open till 12 o'clock. Yeah. Where am I supposed to eat my grub? Hey, eh? where am I supposed to sit? You can use the branch provided, can't you? Charming, eh? Hey? Look, Jack, I've just come out of a warm cab. I'm not eating my grub in this drafty shed. We'll get back in the cab then. Why didn't I think of that? Good idea, Jack. Thanks. <laughs> See, each got off the cab now. They are. Tell me. Can't understand him. <laughs> What's the matter? Stop it going in. I can't get my sausages out. <laughs> what you doing? I'm trying to suck them out. <laughs> Oh, now I've got it. Right. <laughs> it's, it's freezing cold in this cab. We'll turn the engine on and warm the cab up. Yeah, why didn't I think of that? <laughs> and you can have... What's about the car? You tell the time now, then. What's up, cab? What? What's it say? 11.52, what? You're not due out until 11.59. I'm not going out till 11.59. Well, will you switch the engine on for then? Well, it's cold in here. Forms the cab up. Switch it off for once. What do you think this is here? You're wasting the company's fuel light. Switch it off. He's having his lunch in comfort. Yeah. Lunch? That's a cab for driving and not for eating in. Get out of there right away. Come on, do you think you're on, mate? That's a bus on a mobile canteen. Get back in here, Stan. Hey. If the management won't open the canteen till 12 o'clock, you can stay in there. <laughs> 
<laughs> you get down out there at once. I could report you, you know. It could be uh, two weeks suspension ah, for you. That's nice, isn't it? Intimidation. Yeah. yeah that's right. lovely. Take no notice, then. <laughs> he can't intimidate you. Oh, yes, he can. I'm getting out. Get down. Get back in. Get down. Get in. You get down. Get in. You get off. It's a matter of principle. <laughs> I'd better phone our union office. Now, Jack. Don't bring the union into this. No, you're right. They never help. Right. We've got to settle this ourselves. Yeah. Are you going to get out of there, aren't you? Oh, well. Don't you dare get out. <laughs> I'll go and see the general manager then, won't I? Right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, him. Big toe between his legs, eh, hey, Jack? Yeah. Come on, then. Get out. Hey. Get out. <laughs> What are you talking about? Come on, what do you think you're doing? Get out! You just told me to get back in! That was when the inspector told you to get out, but now I'm telling you to get out, and I'm the shop steward, and I'm convening a meeting, so get out! <laughs> what about my lunch? Hey, <laughs> what's the point of having new schedules if we have to suffer? Rather stand here has been threatened by an inspector. He has been intimidated for eating his lunch in his camp because the management wouldn't open the canteen till 12 o'clock. I put it to you, brothers. No canteen, no buses. Right, 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 right. let's take a vote on it. Signify in the usual manner all those in favour. We are unanimous, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Right, motion carried. We are withdrawing our labour forthwith. Oh. Yeah. Can I have my lunch now? About so early. Hey, what's happened? Nothing. I'm on strike. On strike? Yeah. Oh, so that's why there was no buses. Oh, really, I do think you might have told us. Me and Olive, we was walking two miles in the pouring rain. We couldn't tell you. It happened so quickly. It's what's called a lightning strike. Ah, oh, Stan. <laughs> Stan, don't tell me you couldn't get the men to hold up the strike for your mum. They wouldn't hold it up for Frank Cousin's mum. Huh? Well, the dockers do. <laughs> That one in 18. You know, number 18, his mum, she always gets her meeting before the strike. <laughs> and last year, a Christmas nuts also. <laughs> My hair's ruined! Now, <laughs> oh, stand here, that cough. I can hear it. Sounds a lot better to me. <laughs> You'll feel much better after our cup of tea. Now, look, Stan, I bought some of those lovely fairy cakes. Get them out, will you? Just a minute, Ruffy. Are you yeah, all right? They're not wet, eh? Wet? I don't know. I haven't had a look in the bag yet. I... Well, I'll tell you, a little bit damp. Here. Your paper bag's had it, hasn't it? <laughs> Wait a minute. Hang on. Oh, look. <laughs> Careful of the bulb. Oh, I don't know about that. Have a look at the bun. That's not bad, is it? <laughs> Ooh, I can't eat that. Well, it's no different than when you dip it in your tea. <laughs> Don't talk like that. Well, let's face it, that's how it ends up in your stomach, isn't it? Oh! Hey, come here, Ollie. Oh, oh is that the front door? Yeah. Is that you, Arthur? Yes, of course it's me. Arthur, there's a bus strike. Have you heard? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I have heard. <laughs> you busmen ought to be shot striking on a wet day like this. Well, that's the best time to strike, isn't it? Rainy days and Christmases. The railways taught us that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so through to the skin. Oh, dear, I'm sorry. Give it to me. You are in a state, aren't you? Oh, the sopping. Oh, now. Never how mind, you, dear. How did you get so wet? Standing at a bus stop for an hour, waiting for a bus. Well, that was daft, wasn't it? 
Well, that was hard to know you were on strike. <laughs> well, stand a bus stop for an hour, nothing comes along. Blimey, must have thought something had gone wrong. Why, well, you lot run the buses, we thought it was normal service. <laughs> <laughs> now, listen here, mate. Well, you busmen are a lot of layabouts. Yeah. I'd like to meet the bloke who started it. Would you? <laughs> <laughs> well, as a matter of fact, mate. Because when I do, I'll knock his block off. Who was it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> when I find out, I'll let you know. Yeah. Your union had no right bringing you out on strike. They didn't. We did it ourselves. Oh, so it's unofficial. I suppose you know you'll get no strike pay. Stan, is that right? No, no wages. Won't there be no money coming in? That's right. It could be out for months, not a single penny. Olive, have you heard that? Oh, Mum, Mum, don't worry. Now look here, Stan. What are we going to do for money? We've got nothing behind us. I've just paid all the rates and, and there's the, the fund due and the HP. Well, you have to tell the men you want to go back. Don't waste your breath, Mum. The ruddy tell you go back before he does. It wouldn't hurt you to pay a few instalments on it for a change. And on the fridge, I paid that for the last two years. Oh, we can't let them take the fridge back, can oh, we? Oh, let them take it back. We won't have nothing to put in it. If we could all start to nothing for two years. Well, we'll just have to live on Arthur's money, won't we? Then we will starve. <laughs> no, it just means I shall have to start watching every penny. Start? Blimey, you never stopped. Well, at least he's going to work tomorrow. Yeah, more than you, sitting around doing nothing. I won't be sitting around doing nothing, mate. I'll be lying in bed. <laughs> lying in bed? Yeah. All day long? No, only till the pub's open. It's great being on strike. No wonder it's catching on. Hang on, I'll get it off. <laughs> hello? Mm -mm. No, it's me, Stan. Oh, hello, Jack. Strike committee. Big deal. Yeah? Oh, God, no. When? What time? <coughs> yeah, all right. Yeah, all right, yeah. Right. Tell her. What's up, Stan? They want me on picket duty. Oh, well, it's only right, isn't it? Yeah, but I've got to be there at half past five in the morning. That means I'll have to be up by half past four. <laughs> Hardly worth going to bed, is it? <laughs> Olive, I'll have to use your bike oh, and give me no, a Oh, no, you won't. I shall need a bike to get to work myself, shall I? How am I going to get on picket duty? Up on a bus. <laughs> here, Jack, I'm fed up with this. We've been standing here for five hours and nobody's even tried to get in. <laughs> They've not even tried to start up a bus. Oh, you never know what the management will get up to. Got to show them we're solid. I'm that all right. I can't even straighten my fingers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here, when are we going to knock off for lunch? Knock off for lunch? Yeah. Look, we do an eight-hour shift, non-stop. Oh, yeah. Well, Stan, here comes your mother. Look, we don't want no interference from the women. Oh, she's probably passing. She'll be all right. Um, yeah. I had to come see you were all right. Yeah. I bought you a few things. I'd go home if I were you, Mum, it's an half cold here. I know, that's why I bought you an extra pair of warm socks yeah. and hot water bottles. Yeah, and your mother is making us look ridiculous. Yeah, she, she won't be long yeah, yet. Here you are, some nice hot tea yeah, and on. some warm buns. Ah, warm buns, lovely. Oh, yeah. that's very nice, yeah. Don't eat those yet, you make yourself look ridiculous. Look, you can take some cherry link just in, oh. case, in case the cold goes down to your I, chest. I, I'll put it in your pocket. Look, look. It, There's some blokes coming across the street with a camera. Wonder what I want. Yeah. Uh, oh, we are from the TV news. We'd like a few shots for tonight's programme, OK? Oh, yes, that'll be all right, yeah. We, uh, we need the publicity. That's OK, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah, I reckon it's all right, yeah. Yeah, I think you look a bit pale. Don't you think you ought to have some makeup on? Shut up, ma'am. Well, they all do. The Queen and Mr Wilson. Well, he probably borrows Barbara Castle's powder puff. <laughs> Oh, I think you'll be all right. <laughs> now, wait a minute, I've got a, I got a bit of lipstick here. What for? That'll help anyway, come on. <laughs> no! Turn it and you're making me look a fool. Hey, listen. They've started up one of the buses. Hey, they're going to take it through the back gate. Yeah, quick, we got to stop them. Here, hold that, Mum. Hold, hold this. Come on, come on. Oh, oh. What are going to do with this? Have you seen stick? Well, I don't want that. Take it. Do. Here, Sam, wait for me, Sam. Thank you. It's the inspectors. They're bringing a the bus out. Oh, ruddy stripe breakers. Yeah. Scum! Scum! Black leg, lady, black leg! Uh, look at it! Yeah, we'll have to stop it. How are we going to do that, Jack? Lie down. Lie down? Yeah, lie down in front of the bus. You him? No, you. Yes, you. Me. Me? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Just, just a minute, Jack. Hang on, hang on. I just thought of something. Why don't you lie down there? No, no. I'm the committee leader. 
I've got a negotiate with him. Now, come on, lie down. Quick, lie down before he gets by. I'd rather lie down after it's gone by. Besides, he might not stop. No, what well, we'll get him for manslaughter. <laughs> I'd love to see those inspectors inside. Yeah, so would I. But he might not know how to drive that thing. Besides, I know that bus is a dodgy brake. Yeah, come, oh, come on, come on. This is ridiculous. I feel like that hit me. Down there, you will be a suit. Yeah, you leave him alone. Well, it's been raining, you'll catch his death at home. Come on, come on, cut all this top for it. Come on, oh, get out of there. Come on, Nada, don't you kick my son. <laughs> he ain't done you no harm, have he? All right, all right. But today, don't like a one, that's all. That's all. Stay there all that for, I can. I say, uh, just a minute. Let's have a shot. Oh, what do you want me? Uh, yeah. I say, what's that red stain on your coat? What stain? <laughs> it's blood, <laughs> Mum! It's blood! Are you sure? That's just what we wanted. We'll have a ball out now. Blood! You've been injured. Uh, don't get up. Stay there. Are you all right, love? Are you all right? Well, I don't know, Mum. Is she... Uh, one minute. No, don't panic. Don't panic. It's that rotten cherry syrup you got oh, this morning. Look, I broke the bottle. Oh, Stan! Focus on the blood. Yeah, no, no, don't panic, mate. Just shut up. Shut up. What? Blood. What is... Oh. Oh, yes. Yes, blood. Yes. Oh, you all right, my love? <laughs> Times very unsettled. And now the regional news. Hey, hurry up, Mum, I'm on. All right, I'm all right, I'm coming. Come on, I've got a chair here, sit down. That's it, sit down. I'll bet they won't even bother to show it. Yeah. No, what's that then? Hey, what's that? Hey, hey, look, Mum, that's me. <laughs> well, all you can see is your backside. <laughs> well, it's very nice. Yeah. As the unofficial Luxton district bus strike moved into its second day, there was drama at the bus depot when driver Stan Butler threw himself in front of a bus to prevent it being taken out and was slightly injured. What a ruddy fraud! Shh! The bus company when he left school at the age of 14. Hey, is that me? Very yes, love. Oh, something's gone wrong. My face looks all fat. Oh. That's because your face is all fat. Yeah, yeah, shut up. There's something wrong with a set, that's what it is. <laughs> that makes you look a lot better. Shut up. Uh, I smile, look. Oh, yes, you smile. Yes, yeah, see, have you got it? Yeah. Oh, yes, a lovely smile, that yeah. is. <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't have bothered. Uh, I asked Stan Butler if he thought his courageous action was justified. For a better end. Uh, you know what much about it. Here, who's that stupid woman? It's you. Uh, <laughs> oh, yes, so it is, yes. Yeah. <laughs> And now some football. Well, all right, Burke, you write it yourself. What are you talking about? Oh, I think it was very nice. So I did, really. <laughs> it's a pity your teeth are so crooked, though, love. Well, didn't oh. notice much, did it, huh? Well, I don't know. <laughs> Do you think it would be too late to wear a brace? <laughs> Well, you and your pals will have to give in now. The management certainly won't after that little lot. Well, at least I've been on telly. <laughs> so have the monsters. Oh, here, the buses are coming on. Look, the buses, look. Well, here we are. And here it, is a it, news flash. Just... We've just heard that after a long meeting and in view of the injury sustained by driver Stan Butler, the uh, hero of the day, the management have agreed to the busman's demand in order to avoid further bloodshed. Well, uh... <laughs> oh, oh, Stan, you won, you won, and, and all because of you, they give in. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm a burke, am I? Well, I'll tell you what, Arthur. I reckon from now on I can tackle anything. Well, you can start right away. What do you mean, Mum? <laughs> tackle the washing up. Yeah. <laughs> what does it matter, fellas? We won, didn't yeah, we? That's the thing. <laughs> we talked the management of thing. Yeah, yeah now, now we know how to get what we want, don't we? Of course, yeah. <laughs> come on, Stan, come on, Jack. You're due out in two minutes. Get in the bus. Yeah. Hold your air on, hold All your right. air on. We're the bosses now, you know. <laughs> oh, yes? Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, in that case, you better send out for your smoked salmon and caviar for your lunches in, had you? What do you mean? Take a look. <laughs> <laughs> Blimey, the can't eat have gone on strike now. That's a dead liberty, that is. <laughs> Never mind, Jack, we can't do anything about it, can we? Oh, Let's can't get... we? No? What do you mean? Not one bus leaves this depot until we get our grub. <laughs> Well, how are we going to do that then? Lie down in front of the bus. That's it, lie down in front of the bus. Wait a minute, no! no! no, 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 no. <laughs>